I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a self-portrait in Google Draw. Uh, so to get here, it's pretty easy. You just Google for Google Draw and you'll arrive here. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is insert a picture of myself to use as my base template. So to do that, I'm just going to go up to Insert, Image, Upload from Computer. And then I'm just going to go ahead and select um, a selfie I took earlier with my webcam and I'll go ahead and use this. So I'm going to scale it up so it fills the page. All right, now we can start drawing. Um, so what we want to use here is we want to use something called the curve tool. So with the curve tool, now we'll want to start creating shapes. So what we're going to basically do is we're going to take this portrait and turn it into a bunch of shapes that we'll later color in. Um, so when we're making our shapes, it's very important that we enclose it. So both ends have to touch, otherwise we're not going to be able to fill it with different colors. So again, just going up here to the curve tool, and then I'm going to go ahead and start to block out shapes. So you just click once to start the line, then you're going to click again at the areas where you want to turn it. So I've got like a funky bang thing going on. So I'm going to click once around that curve and then click where I want to end it. So. It's not going to be perfect, mine's obviously not, but I'm just going to go ahead and kind of get the gist of the shape, and I can always edit this line later. So going around the face here, kind of stopping at all the turns, okay, and then it'll kind of connect uh, for me if I just hover over, which makes it really easy. So if I just click, there's my weird shaped face. So what I want to do so I can see the pieces underneath it is I want to make this line transparent. Now this is going to look really weird at first, really weird, um, but just bear with me and you'll see how it comes together. So we're going to keep just blocking out different shapes. So I'm going to start with these different pieces of hair. I'm just kind of following my hairline here. Um, and again, does not have to be perfect. The beauty of this is we can adjust this later, plus it's already kind of abstract anyways, so it really doesn't matter if it's off. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of follow the shape of my line. And these shapes, you can kind of think of this as if it's like a stack of colored paper, right? So each one is a different stack, a different sheet on top of the other. So eventually I can go through and start to kind of change the order of these stacks. So if I have like a little bit of overlap where I don't want it, that's okay. I can rearrange these later, these layers later on. Um, so I'm gonna kind of clean my hair up a little bit, make it look even better because it was kind of shabby. All right, and then I'm gonna add in my ear. This is kind of looking like an elf ear or something. <laughs> All right, so even though, look, it seems like it's enclosed because it's touching that line, it's not. I need to make sure that I do go full circle with this. So I'm going to do one more click and then close. And again, I'll probably move this behind my base face shape uh, layer later on. Okay, now I'm going to start on the head. I'm going to zoom in a little bit further. So scary. Okay, now that we're zoomed in, I'm going to start to kind of block this off. Um, so I'm going to make my eyebrow... I don't like this. So if you don't like something, guys, you can just hit delete or you can hit command Z on your keyboard to undo. So I'm actually going to start at the base of the eyebrow to kind of make these more shapely. I think that'll just look a lot nicer. Get a little more of a curve here. All right, there we go. So I've got one eyebrow and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other eyebrow. And again, we're making a picture. So even though, you know, my eyebrow doesn't start that far out, I think it'll just kind of look nicer if it does. So that's why I'm taking some kind of creative liberties here. And it's kind of too far out, so later on I can always go and adjust that. All right, now I've got uh, kind of this shadow over top my eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to create that shadow. I'm gonna make it transparent so it's a little bit easier to see. And then I'll do the same thing with this shadow. Because what we're basically doing is we're blocking off not just main features, but we're also blocking off shadows and shapes. So this shape, for example, this uh, bright highlight will become a shape. 
you know, the shadows will become shapes. Everything is going to become a separate shape. Okay, so now I'm going to start on the eyes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and focus, I think, just kind of on the whites of the eye. Actually, no, I'm going to create this initial block first, I think, and then kind of start to block in the actual eyeball and the retina. So I'll just start from that outermost part. Okay, I definitely want to make that transparent. Cool, so now I'm going to make the actual eyeball itself. And undo that. And we definitely want to make this transparent as well, so then we can start to go in the retina. Now, circle shapes are kind of tricky, but luckily we can always uh, go back over this later on and kind of fine tune it and clean it up and make it rounder. I'm doing a lot of clicks just to get it super curved. Okay, and going into the retina. I'm closing so creepy. Um, and I've got a little highlight here, so I'm going to go ahead and add that in. Cool. Alright, so now we want to do the second eye. I think I want to add in these eyelashes. I think eyelashes might make it look slightly less creepy. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, block that in. I'll go a little bit outside of it. And again, because you can layer this like transparency paper, it's okay if it kind of goes over. All right, eye number two. Now with my portrait, I was kind of boring. You know, I just took a quick selfie with my webcam, but I could have been a lot more creative with it. You know, you could add in like sunglasses, you could add in like a fun scarf. Like you can really like add in a lot of different accessories to kind of add some more personality and some more interest to your drawings. Um, but for now, this is what it is. Okay, now I'm gonna start to block out these highlights. So it kind of curves around the tip of my nose a little bit. So I'm gonna try to kind of imitate that. Okay, now I'm gonna add in some of these um, other highlights. Like I see a big one going across the chin. Alright, so now I'm going over uh, the shadowy portions as well. So we did a lot of highlights. Now we want to make sure that we get in shadows. Now I've kind of got a big shadow here with my hairline, so I'm going to make sure that I get that in here. And again, we're thinking about those layers, right? So this layer, the shadow, would probably be underneath my hairline. So it's okay if I go a little bit over top of it because again that hair is going to be covering the shadow okay i'm wondering if i want to add a heavier shadow here but i think i don't right now because i can always add that in later on um, i probably should have gone a little bit larger for the eye but again i'll come back to visit that uh, later on but i definitely want to get that eyelash back in and see if there's any other pieces that i'm missing now i probably should not have taken a photo of me showing my teeth because this can be very challenging and it's very easy to make this look extremely creepy <laughs> um but anyways we'll go ahead and work with this for now um so i'll get the shadow in here but yeah again i would probably recommend um doing a close lipped smile for your self portraits just because it will make your life a lot easier you don't have to worry about all these chompers Okay, now if I want to adjust these, I can just double click and then from there I can start to move these points up. So like this one, I want to make sure that this is below those lips because that's going to be that dark shadow in there. And this guy, I want to make sure he's touching. All right. So now for the teeth. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Okay, so first... I'm actually going to completely fill this space. I'm gonna make this color just very, that pink gummy color. And I'll make that clear. Cool, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the teeth. <laughs> it's so weird, so weird. Um, but trust me, it'll look cool in the end. 
yeah this is extremely extremely creepy um but anyways i like my earrings so i think i want to add these guys in just for a little fun detail there All right, so now let's finally get to the part where we make this a lot less weird. Um, so I'm going to start off with the base shape, which is this face that we created. And I'm going to try to pick something that represents my skin tone. Um, so this is just a good starting point. My complexion definitely has like a pinkish hue to it, but it's not quite that pink. So I'm going to make it a little bit more orange and light. Yeah, that'll work. Um, so I'll start with something like that and remove the outline. Then I'm going to go ahead and create that slightly dark, I'm sorry, this is the highlight, so the slightly lighter version of that. So I'm going to move that up a bit. I'm going to make it a little more yellow. And that would be my highlight. And then I can use that same color. And again, no outline. Now I want to make a darker version of that for the shadow. So I'm going to select that base skin tone color I selected and now drag that slider down a bit to make it darker. And then remove that outline again for each one. And if you hold shift while selecting, you can select multiple things at once and then change them all together. And the shortcut is command down to change the order to move things behind one another. So I want a color that's just slightly darker so it doesn't look as creepy. Alright, so I definitely want some sort of shadow underneath the neck just to kind of define the chin a little bit better. So again, I'm going to go ahead and just create that shape and then hit command down to bring it under. So even though my earrings are silver, I think that these would just be a lot more fun if they were actually green to give this picture a little more uh, vibrancy. I can actually change the width of these lines too, so I want like that earring to be a little bit thicker. Okay, now let's start to really clean this up and refine it because it still looks pretty darn creepy. Alright, now I'm just trying to kind of balance out my makeup here to make this eye match the other one a little more nicely. I can actually copy and paste pieces too. So I'm just going to copy this little uh, light that we have in the eye and drag that over for consistency. And then it looks like the shadow is much thicker, so I'm going to go ahead and make this one kind of match that. Now you could really add, spend a lot more time on teeth, adding in the shadows, the individual highlights and lowlights, um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to kind of connect mine um, for time constraints. Let's take a look at the original picture that we had. Well, first, I want to fix this gummy layer. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and drag out the picture to kind of separate it. And now I can see some details in here that I really want to add back in. So for example, um, there's a little bit of a light here, there's a lot of highlights in the hair, so I want to make sure I get in those details. And you guys could really spend a lot of time here if you wanted to, doing individual strands, um, doing low lights, I might add just a few in. So 
So now I am wearing my hair up in a bun. You can't really see that here, but I just think it would be cute to show that for the illustration. So I'm gonna actually scale my image down just a little bit. That way I can go ahead and kind of draw that bun in. And I'm gonna go ahead and make it that darker color just cause it's kind of a shadow in the background. And I'm gonna make sure I arrange that and order it by sending it to the back. Okay, I'm gonna grab all of this and choose arrange, order, send it back. And with this, I can kind of turn it a little bit if I want to. Now for the background, I can actually insert another image if I wanted to. So I can place an image in the background, maybe I blur it, maybe I do something cool there. But for this background, I will go ahead and just create a square, arrange, and send it back. Cool, now I really, I like the pop of green, I like the pop of red I have here. So what I want is I want a color that's kind of complementary to that. And so you guys know, um, red and green are complementary colors, just like Christmas, right? So I can go ahead and do that. Maybe I want some like abstract shapes in the background. I love abstract shapes. Okay, cool. Now there's obviously a lot more I can do. Like I can go in here and add more shadows to the ears. Um, I can add some more dimension to this, some highlights around the eyes, some dimension to the shirt. Um, the hair needs a lot of work, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of how to use these tools. So now you can put in the time and really make your own awesome self portraits. Um, so when I'm done with this, I can go ahead and go to file, download, and I can save that as a JPEG. And there we have it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration, um, and I can't wait to see the self-portraits that you create. All right, take care. Bye-bye.